Hi everyone, this is from Team Oreo. For those of you who have been to Universal Studios in Singapore, it's a common experience that you will queue for more than one hour just for a short five minutes ride. And most people agree that it's quite annoying to queue up in such a hot weather. Therefore, we intend to design an online ticket booking application which can save the time of queuing up physically. So how does it work? It starts with online checking, which provides information of location, waiting time at each activity. After people choose the activity and the time slot that they wish to attend, a unique barcode will be generated once the reservation is successful. 10 minutes before the activity starts, there will be a notification message to remind the users to be around the location. Finally, by the time of boarding, a successful scan of the barcode will justify the entrance. This is just some sauce we have for now. Thank you for listening. Hi. We are Team 1195. We introduce Tax and Cues, a puzzle game to help you understand abstract data structures in computer science better. It is inspired by the game Zuma, where you clear same colored balls by grouping them in threes or more. Similarly, in Tax and Cues, we use data structures to fulfill the required condition to clear the level. Let's explain with an example. Say there are three balls numbered 1, 3, and 4 entering in order, provided with a stack and a queue. The win condition is to arrange them in the order 3, 1, 4. A solution to this level would be to stack the 1, enqueue 3, pop 1 out of the stack and enqueue it behind 3, and then enqueue the 4 followed by dequeuing all three which end the puzzle. The puzzles get more challenging in higher levels, perhaps with bonus hash tables and linked lists. That's all we have for you today. Thank you. Hi everyone, this is Su Xinran and Xie Ji Hui. Our idea is closely connected with NUS students during the daily life of learning, especially reading week and exam weeks. There are many students go to the libraries and do revision. At that time, we are not sure whether the libraries are fully taken or not. In another world, whether we can find a seat for ourselves. If a system that can show real-time circumstances, it could be very helpful to us. For example, by showing the number of connections of Wi-Fi, how many students can be known. Also, when students come into the library, they can be authorized to select the empty seats and take them. Once they finish the selection, the seats on the app will be shown taken. In this way, before students go into the libraries, they can know the real-time seat circumstance anywhere. They can choose whether they will still go to the library or not. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Team Hard to Name. We are Zhao Tianze and Zhuo Zhuolin. Our level is Wolf's Talk. Many families are using the old routers which only have several cable interfaces. Our purpose is to build a device which can improve an old generation router to a personal cloud drive. To achieve this idea, our device should contain a Raspberry Pi and a hard disk. We will do programming inside the Raspberry Pi to let users to control the input output of the driver through the local network. Therefore, to achieve download and edit the data in a driver whenever the user connected to the router through Wi-Fi or cable. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jing Dongyang, and my teammate is Benjamin Lu, and both of us are from Business Analytics Year 1. Our team is called Musing. What does this do? Basically, this app allows people to listen to the same music seamlessly without having to share the same music device. The additional features will include listening at the same beat so that people can relate to the music more, as well as sharing music with others without having them to download the file from each other. Our project aims to use Android and other mobile platforms to create this application, and hopefully integrate this application into a feature that can be included into default music players, instead of having people to download an individual music player, which will require a lot of inertia due to first mover advantage. We do hope that we will receive a lot of comments on this prototype idea, so that we can improve in the future. Thank you. Hello everyone, we are Ruolan and Ming Yang from Team The Bell of Friendship. Our aim achievement level is Apollo 11 and we are not looking for mentorship.
We are going to design a forum website for NUS students to share news, pictures, and interesting events in their school life and to discuss academic issues. Hello everyone, we are Team 1996.5. I'm Liu Xiechong from Engineering Science, and my teammate is Hui Xinyao from Applied Math. Both of us are not from School of Computing, but we'd love to challenge ourselves, so we joined Orbital and chose Project Gemini as our aimed achievement level. Currently, what we want to build is a small application for the youth. Since many successful apps today start out simple but manage to change the world, we hope we can build something useful and fun like that too. Thank you for listening. Hello, I'm Fan Weiguang from Team PYJ. My teammate is Zhao Ding Fan. We are both year one students. I'm from computer science. He is from computer engineering. In this orbital program, we are going to develop an iOS application, which is called Footprint. We plan to achieve Gemini without mentorship. In this application, at every place the user goes, he can take a picture of the place. At the same time, the location of the place will be recorded. And then this picture will appear on the map. Therefore, the user can always have a look at the map and see where he has been to and how the place looks like when he went there. So it is like a collection of so it is like a collection of footprints and memories. So that's our idea for this program. Thank you very much. Hi, this is Team Satellite. Our team members are Lou Beicheng and Mo Ziyang. We are aiming the voice test level because both of us are not computing students. In this program, we want to build an app because we think a good app can be very interesting and can make life more convenient in many ways. The app we build may not be a complicated one, but we will make it useful in our daily life. Hi everyone, I'm Yu Hui, and this is my partner Ida. Our group name is Project SOP. We aim to achieve a uh, project uh, the level of uh, Vostok. If we manage to achieve this level, we will try to achieve a higher a higher level of achievement. Hi, I'm Yuda. I'm from uh, mechanical engineering, and Jinhui and I has taken up a bit as both of us are more interested about programming. So uh, our project will be on microblog, and the topic where we are writing about will be on travel, something about uh, where we have an interest in. Uh, that's the end of our presentation. We hope you like it. Thank you. Hi there. We are Team Ohm. My name is Gerald Xiao, and my partner is Li Tangting. What we want to achieve is that we want to take the popularized card game, The Resistance, and move it onto an online platform, such as Telegram, such that our users will be able to enjoy the game without necessarily bringing cards or the, or the game set along. We wish to achieve a Gemini standard with this project, and we are also seeking for a mentor. Thank you. Hi, my name is Christopher, and my partner is Fen Yi, and we are Team 07. Both of us, we are currently Year 1 students, uh, Information Systems. So, what is our project all about? For one scenario, uh, remember during your shopping trips, there would always be marketing personnel pushing out flyers to passerbys or to other fellow shoppers. So, those flyers tend to be just some flat, boring 2D pictures that is unable to portray the product properly. We are looking to solve this problem with our project. Through our project, we'll be looking to implement augmented reality using markers. This will allow us to bring interactivity to printed medium, not limited to just flyers. We are targeting Gemini for our level of achievement. And uh, I guess that's it. Thank you. Our group name is Experto Patronum and uh, group members uh, Zihan and Yuli. Our aim the achievement level is Apollo 11. Zihan and I found that some students want their old stuff to be reused and some want to buy cheap second-hand stuff. So we decided to create a website to help them. 
Our target users are students, young adults, and、uh, other social media users. We plan to create this website using CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. Keloshare is a mobile app that helps individuals track their diet and discover healthy food in the vicinity. Maintaining a healthy diet is tough when you are busy and don't have the time to cook or prepare healthy food. You might have to eat out frequently, but where can you find healthier food around you? Also, existing solutions for tracking your diet in order to maintain a balanced diet is tedious because it requires manually typing out the ingredients of the food. What if taking photos can solve all that? As the saying goes, a photo speaks a thousand words. With Caloshare, users can take and upload photos of their meals for the purpose of food logging. They can then share these photos with the Caloshare community so that others can discover these healthy food places when they are near. Need food recommendations? You can crowdsource healthy food around you with Caloshare. Hi, we are Group One Two One Six, comprising of Leroy Tang and Lim Center. For our project, we will create an app that will give NUS students information on the occupancy rates of certain NUS facilities, like the gym and libraries. It will work similar to the current ActiveSG app. This app would give students an idea of which times the facilities would be too crowded, and avoid those times where it would be congested. This would save them precious travel time instead of them having to travel down only to find out that there are no seats left in the library, or for the gym to be too congested for them to make full use of their time there.